I just changed the velocity to the accent notes to minus 80 dB. It hasn't changed. Yeah, before you say just delete the accents, I want to articulate it that way. I, and I'm going to make it happen. Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing well and making great music. Jim here, welcome, welcome back. So today's menu, it's all about velocity. We're gonna talk about some of the basics and then by the end of the video, you'll know how to do this. So let's go. Okay, to get to velocity simple, we have to go to the inspector. Click on the note head, not the accent. So here we go, click on the note head and then press F8, then look for note and scroll all the way down. Make sure play is checked. We're not talking about tuning today. Velocity type, I always use offset by default. If you click on that, you'll also see user. And I found a source that explains it much better than me. His name's JT. He's one of the programmers from MuseScore. I know he created uh, the Tempo Changes plugin. He did an awesome job, so you can check it out here. And that was really quick, but I'll also leave that information in the description if you want to geek out on that. So here we go. We have the velocity at zero. If we minus it, it will still play. I'll do that quickly, as I showed in my fun little beginning. So here we go. Still playing. Let's fix that. What we're going to do is switch the flute to a different instrument temporarily. Here we go. We're going to highlight a measure, then right mouse click. And then you're going to look for staff part properties. Click on that. We're going to change instrument. I use piano. That's what works. So you go to keyboard, then piano, click OK, and then click apply, and then click OK. Seeing is believing, so I take a quick second to hear the piano part. All right, great. So our goal is to get the accent softer. I'm just going to work off of measure two. So how soft? I would definitely recommend minus something like minus 30, minus 40. The reason I'm being evasive is I don't know what your music is. There's so many variables, there's frequencies, but if you want to geek out, you can go to the description as I have a thread on that too. What I'm going to do now is change the second measure to minus 40 dB because we'll hear a difference. I will go to um, inspector F8, click on notes instead of minus 127, minus 40. Let's see if we hear a difference. Here we go. First measure should be louder. When I have to do this, I make sure I only do this once. You can play cat and mouse. I wouldn't recommend that. So I'm happy with what I've changed. And I did a macro change. I would just pick all the accents at once, whatever I want to switch. So now we're going to bring it back to flute. I don't know why, but if I bring it back to flute, if I go to the palette to change instrument, it will work and the velocity will stay the same. If I go to part properties, it doesn't work for me. Who knows? It could be a gym thing. Let's go ahead and click on F9. We're going to look for text. After text, we're going to take change instrument. You can either drag or drop. I like highlighting notes and doing that. That should come up. Go ahead and change the instrument to, in my case, flute. Click OK to flute. Later on, you can obviously make that invisible. So it's, it's all done. Let's hear measure one and measure two. Same pitches, same rhythms, but different volumes. Awesome. Hope you guys can hear the difference. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you have found value out of this content, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out. Now, extra thanks. I have listed all the steps in the description so you can go ahead and visit the description and see what I did. Until next time, I wish everyone well. Happy music making. Bye for now. With offset user, what was it?